Podcasters and welcome to Not Vajon. My name is Venni and I'm from Finland. I will currently be your guide through Not Vajon and I will tell you about what normally volunteers do here and I will give examples and then we'll go through the landscape and all the shops and everything that we have here in Not Vajon. and then after this video you will have a good overall understanding of how, you, how it's going to be the experience for you as a volunteer and then you're gonna be maybe more able to kind of like visualize and, and then you can choose if this experience is for you hello everybody and welcome to the school of Nodvajan here we currently the summer we had different projects and we help around the school with the with the short-term volunteers and here we have the sports sport chairs and as you can see we repainted the sports chairs so this was one of the projects and if you follow me we go all the way here and here we have the fence that we fixed it was in awful condition so now it looks much more better so these are just a few examples of what we did here and we also had a sports day a couple Fridays ago where we engaged with the young people and we helped them to play a different kind of sports so this was like one of the good, good example how we are with the youth and the kids and if you now follow me we will go and I will show you what we also we had this project where we painted different jungle animals so just follow me and I'll show you this show you all the different animals that with the volunteers we paint here so now that you zoom in you can see the lovely butterflies you can see a sloth down on the left and also you can see a spider all the way down there and we have many examples of different jungle animals that we painted here so this is just one example that we did so I personally like this a lot and uh, for me it's very uh, this experience has already been very you know relaxing and very people the atmosphere is very nice and people are treating me very well so i highly recommend this experience for you and this is just one of the examples what we do here Now we are at the kindergarten here at back. So this is one of the projects you can either choose to be in the youth center Fekitasetek or then you can work in the kindergarten. And the two Estonian girls worked here for the whole time and they got a very good feedback. So they engaged with uh, children, they helped them to eat, helped them to dress and just daily activities and just played with the kids. So this is like one, one activity that you can have. And soon you're going to see an electric bus going by and this is like one of the transportations we have here. So it's for free, so you can also also use it. So Okay, volunteers. Here's one of one of the small shops that we have here in Nordvajan and I I prefer it cuz it's close by and uh, for me it's like I find things better there than in the big big uh, coop store but this is like one of the examples that we have here and next we're gonna go to the vegetable shop so hello everybody here we have the vegetable shop and here if you <laughs> if you want to uh, get something more fresh because the other shops they don't usually have that much options for vegetables so this is a good place where you can uh, buy them from and if you follow me now you can see that we're going towards the center of Nordvajan and I will show you the bank and the pub and then the biggest market we have, the Maxi Kool. So just follow me. We are at the pub, as you can see it's local pub and then 
From here you can buy beer and pizza and everything you need. And uh, here in front we have the bank. So whenever you need money, to withdraw money, you can get it from there. And then if you follow me across the street, we have the local post. So where I point my finger right now, so there you have the post if you need to send letters or anything. So everything is very close by and everything is very centralized here. So you can find everything from here. And also when we go, I don't know if you can see it from there, but we have the Maxi Coupe all the way there. So there's the biggest, biggest shop we have. So this is basically the city center. And also now there's a bus coming. So this is the place where the buses are. So from here you can go to West uh, Bremen, the nearest city, or Sankai. Hello everybody. Now we are at the village center and then we have the biggest shop we have here, Maxi Poop. So basically from here you can buy everything you need and uh, the shops are open every day but on Saturday and Sunday it's until 10 so we have to like do the groceries very and early. We are at the center, also where Tegeta is located. There you can see one of our youth that goes to Tegeta And Here you can buy ice cream and you can also eat in the restaurant. We have restaurant inside there. And then there's sometimes there's weddings or there's like some music festivals around here. So it's like a very diverse center. And you can have everything. But here when we go inside, we will show you Fekete the setting. So follow me. We are now at Fekete the setting. Here's the center. Here we have the pictures and everything. And here we have a very big map. So there you can see also where, from where, which places all the volunteers has come. This is my brother Tiago. He's from Portugal. It's been amazing to know him. And now we're going to show you our handshake that we've learned during this time. I'm Tiago and I have a duck. He has a duck. She's a long-term volunteer from Italy. Svetlana, tell us something about yourself. Hello, my name is Svetlana. I'm 31 years old. I'm working here since September for 10 months. And I really like to work here in the youth center with the youngest. And I work also in the kindergarten. And I really like it. Here we have we have chance to uh, have fun with a different activity. And new uh, other volunteers. Uh, and exchange our ES experience as well. So I really like it. Thank you, Svetlana. Welcome. And now I will show you the rest of this room. There's the map. There's some kitchen stuff. There's a board where we sometimes have Hungarian lessons. And here we have our mentor. <laughs> Why are you laughing at that? <laughs> David. Hello. Uh. Tell me something about yourself, David. I'm David, and I'm working here as a volunteer coordinator, and I'm going to help you to feel yourself at home. Then we have Ferry. <laughs> Hello, Ferry. Hello, Say something for the new volunteers. Uh, I uh, draw a new clip today, and after I paint it, because this is my uh, new uh, project for the art in Hungary. And uh, I don't know, what can I say? So Ferry is an artist? Maybe yes, <laughs> later. Later, so let's call him an artist. We also have Eric here, but he's not available yes. now. Here you can see the overview. Serek. 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 Serek.
Jose, if you have any questions, you can ask me. Well, Jose, I was wondering, how will I get my money? By cash or by credit? How does it work here? It depends. If you stay here for a short period of volunteer, you get it by cash. But if you stay here for a long period of volunteer, you will open a bank account here and you get the money in that bank account. Okay, interesting. Thank you. Welcome to Nodvision!